updated, Sunday the 27th of May 2018 2.15 The Catholic Archbishop of Dublin, Dear Mood Martin, will tell Mass-goers later today that many observers will see the results of Friday's referendum as an indication that the Irish Church is widely regarded with indifference and is having a marginal role in the formation of culture here. In notes for a homily to be delivered at Maynooth, Dr. Martin says the church is seen by many as somehow lacking in compassion despite being called to bring to society a Jesus who's full of mercy and compassion. Later this morning, at 11 a.m. Mass, Archbishop Martin will ordain four deacons at the National Seminary in Maynooth, to which he stopped sending Dublin's trainee priests three years ago because of what he described as a poisonous atmosphere involving seminarians accessing gay dating apps and anonymous accusatory letters. He will tell the deacons they will be called to witness to the gospel in a culture which finds it less and less relevant and which tends to define its own understanding of the Word of God. Dr. Martin will say that. Following Friday's referendum the Irish Church must renew its commitment to support life but that it is called to be pro-life not just in words, statements and manifestos but in deeds that reflect Jesus' love and care for human life at any stage. He'll say this includes helping women grappling with very difficult decisions to choose life. He'll say being pro-life means being alongside those whose lives are threatened by violence, and who cannot live life to the full because of economic deprivation, homelessness and marginalization. Pro-life means radically rediscovering in all our lives a special love for the poor that is the mark of the followers of Jesus, Dr. Martin will say, adding that, reshaping the church of tomorrow must be marked by a radical rediscovery. Of its roots, he'll also say that for future priests, this rediscovery begins in formation and that seminaries must be harmonious, prayerful, generous and caring places and warn that divisiveness and narcissism are never the signs of the Holy Spirit.